Bob Dylan is rightly considered one of the greatest songwriters the world has ever known. The acclaimed folk hero not only provided witty lyricism and socially wry observations, but he did it all wrapped with an innate sense of mystical melody that endeared him to millions and gave him the unwanted title, a voice of his generation. Not only is the gifted songwriter revered within the music industry, but a few years back, he even won a Nobel Prize for Literature, owing to his sensational command of language, both in his songs and books, but, like everyone else, despite what you may think, Bob Dylan is only human. It means that, like the rest of us, he has his heroes too. Of course, if you know Dylan, like so many diehard fans, it is easy to pick out one name that perhaps Dylan cherished most of all, Woody Guthrie. But there have been plenty of other songwriters that Dylan has showered with praise, from Randy Newman to Johnny Cash. Dylan has always shared his love for the authentic artists around him, but there has only ever been one singer he has described himself as being in awe of. Of course, as we look back on the history of rock and roll, the story of Dylan's meteoric rise to fame matches up with his English counterparts, the Beatles. The situation was always a recipe for tabloid tumult, and many have suggested that, across the years, the two acts have clashed on a few occasions. It's true, Dylan once labelled some of their songs as cop-outs, while also once claiming that John Lennon had pinched his style. In Dylan's defence, the bespectacled Beatle never really denied it either, often referring to songs as being in my Dylan phase. But the truth is that the freewheeling troubadour respected the Fab Four more than you'd think. In 2007, Dylan went one step further and spoke about their sincere friendship. First up, he focused on his most noted friend and travelling Wilbury bandmate, George Harrison, who, in the late 60s, sought out Dylan for comfort and guidance on how to proceed with his songwriting. Um, George got stuck, you know, with, with being the Beatle that had to fight to get songs on, on, on records because of Lennon and McCartney. Well, you know, who wouldn't? get stuck mm -hmm. you know I mean if George had had his own group and was writing his own songs back then he'd have been uh, uh, probably just you know just as big as anybody thankfully it wouldn't take Harrison long before pushing himself into the spotlight and achieving his own monumental success with all things must pass however it was always difficult for the guitarist to stick his head above the mammoth songwriting partnership of Lennon and McCartney they were fantastic singers Lennon to this day, it's hard to find a better singer than Lennon was, or than McCartney was, and still is, continued Dylan. It was here that he truly let his feelings known about one member of the band, Paul McCartney. I mean, I'm in awe of McCartney. He's about the only one uh, that I am in awe of, but I'm in awe of him. Um, I mean, he, he can do it all. And, um, um, and, he, and he's never let up. Perhaps the sweetest part of his touching tribute is that his feeling is most certainly reciprocated. McCartney has often shared how influential Dylan was on the Beatles and his own life. It was a great honour to meet him. We had a crazy party the night we met. Um, I went around... I thought I got the meaning to life that night. McCartney even revealed that Dylan is the only name who really makes him feel starstruck, stating, there's one or two people who I would be quite nervous about. Bob Dylan would make me go, oh my God, what am I gonna say? I did see him, we did Coachella. I got to talk to Bob there and he was really nice. I don't know why I would have been so nervous, but you get that with some people. Discussing their relationship once again, this time in 2020, McCartney effused further. I always like what he does. Sometimes I wish I was a bit more like Bob. He's legendary, and he doesn't give a shit, but I'm not like that. Paul continued, His new album, I thought it was really good. He writes really well. I love his singing. He came through the Standards album like a total crooner. But, yeah, I like his new stuff. People ask me who I'm a fan of, and Bob Dylan and Neil Young always make that list. So while Bob Dylan may well cite Paul McCartney, as the only rock star that he is truly in awe of, it's a fair assumption to say 
that the feeling is mutual.